We got our burger and fries on lock, but is mass-produced dessert worth the extra dough? Pizza joints to seafood grills. We ranked these chain restaurant cakes from meh to heck yeah. Domino's lava cakes feature all the elements of a classic restaurant lava cake. If baked right, they have a thick, slightly crunchy shell surrounding a fudge-like chocolate center. The cakes typically ooze delicious melted chocolate as you slice into them, and each cake is generously dusted with powdered sugar. Crunchy lava cakes were introduced in 2009 and have remained a permanent fixture on Domino's menus. Though some disgruntled customers label them too sweet, the reviews are overwhelmingly positive, largely praising the flavor and the sublime combo of a gooey center and crunchy crust. Just like any lava cake, you'll want to eat this one while it's still warm. Right now? Right now. Right now? Right now? Right now. It won't be the best lava cake of your life, but for a quick dessert from a pizza place that you can easily order or pick up, they're a pretty decent option. Gooey butter cake is a St. Louis staple invented in the 1930s. Though it has never been officially confirmed, the local lore alleges that a baker accidentally mixed up another cake recipe's butter and flour ratio. The switch resulted in the unusual combination of a cakey bottom and a gooey top layer. Traditionally, the cake features a leavened base topped with a custard-like filling, but many homemade versions use a cake mix and add cream cheese to the topping. White Castle's gooey butter cake has been on the standard menu since 2014. It comes on a stick, and though it's relatively small, it packs a lot of flavor. The classic sturdy crust is topped with a fudgy layer, finished off with a crackling sugary top. The combination of the texture and a custardy vanilla flavor is why this cake finds its place on the list. The cake comes straight from the freezer, so try heating it or leaving it at room temperature to get that signature gooiness. Though Carl's Jr. is a go-to for hamburgers and sandwiches, the dessert menu carries a few favorites, including a delicious chocolate cake. This treat is topped with a dollop of frosting and made of a classic chocolate sponge cake that's soft and easy to break into. The light and airy texture makes it an ideal dessert after a heavy meal. Carl's restaurants generally get mixed reviews with unhappy customers complaining about the food or the service, but this little dessert has earned a legion of fans. It's often described as delicious, and some even claim it's the best thing on the menu, though it might be too sweet for some, Carl's chocolate cake is a reliable choice for those who prefer to pair their chocolate cake with a bit of classic icing. Popeyes knew that cheesecake and Oreos were perfect companions when it turned this lovable partnership into a dessert option on its menu. Although it is a brand new addition, the cake has already won over hordes of fans. Do you know magic when you see it? Or when you taste it? Unlike the usual slice cut from a whole cake, Popeye's version comes as an individual dessert reminiscent of a classic cheesecake cup. Crushed Oreos comprise the bottom crust, topped with a creamy cheesecake layer swirled with an extra helping of crushed Oreos. Even more crushed Oreos are stacked on top. For the record, Popeye's uses real Oreos and doesn't skimp on the amount. But even so, the cheesecake base doesn't feel overshadowed by the cookies. The cake is described as not too sweet, and as everything you want a cheesecake to be. So it seems that Popeye's nailed this combo. Fans flock to IHOP for top-notch pancakes and other perfectly crafted breakfast foods, but this chocolate cake might be the new reason to plan your next visit. Their ultimate chocolate cake is a decadent treat made of a chocolate cookie crust topped with a smooth chocolate ganache and a feather-light chocolate mousse. As if that wasn't chocolate enough, the sides of the cake are also pressed with dark chocolate chips for an extra crunch. The cake was introduced in 2023, so it has yet to be seen whether it will become the star of the dessert menu. The mousse and the ganache make it incredibly creamy and moist, while the crust and the chips add structure and crunch. This will be a dream dessert for any chocolate lover. A dollop of whipped cream on the side is highly recommended. Chocolate Overload Cake from Jack in the Box is all about chocolate. A mini bun cake, this treat is made with cocoa and bittersweet chocolate chips that are melted into the cake. For the ultimate chocolate cake, the top is generously drizzled with glossy chocolate icing. And even though it comes from a fast food chain, this is an impressive dessert that just might become part of your usual order at Jack's. I've been known to get the munchies from time to time. Yes, it has overload in the name, but this treat remains light and satisfying. Most reviews praise the fantastic texture that stays moist but not heavy. Avoid including the usual perils of pre-made cakes that can be dry or dense. The flavor profile is dominated by chocolate, but the bittersweet taste keeps it from becoming overly sweet. This cake is so good, it doesn't need any additional icing, but a little ice cream won't hurt. Chocolate Wave is Red Lobster's most indulgent dessert. It's assembled with five thick layers of incredibly moist, dark chocolate cake coated with an equally rich chocolate frosting. Even the sides of the cake are covered with chocolate chips, which add to the appeal. The slices are massive, so leave some room for this dessert. It's big enough to share after a rich, indulgent meal. Red Lobster is known for over-the-top combos, and this cake falls right in line. Though it's a heavyweight in the category, the incredibly moist layers and the perfect distribution of the velvety-smooth frosting make it a joy to eat. It's 
it's definitely one of the best chocolate cakes of any chain restaurant. You'll get your slice, served with a drizzle of chocolate sauce and a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Full-fledged Chocolate Wave fans will be delighted to know that this dessert is also sold as a whole cake. If you take the plunge and order the big one, save a slice for us. The Cheesecake Factory is not exclusively about dessert. Still, sweets are undoubtedly its jam. Though it was no easy task to choose just one cheesecake from their impressive selection, the classic is still one of the finest options you can order. The original cheesecake features a graham cracker base that holds a creamy cheesecake filling. The top is then sealed with a thin layer of sour cream. This one is cheesecake done right, with the perfect ratio of crust to filling, so each mouthful offers the ideal amount of creaminess and crunch. The sour cream topping adds a nice tang to complement the sweetness of the filling, while the subtle nuttiness of the graham cracker crust rounds out the texture. This this is a classic for a reason, and the item that launched the brand, so it's always a solid choice. This is really th the formula that started it all, my mother's original cheesecake. In the second spot here, okay, we couldn't resist, is the classic cheesecake topped with fresh glazed strawberries. If you're going for perfection with a twist, our little strawberry friend is a perfect option. Maggiano's Little Italy specializes in classic Italian-American cuisine. The business was launched in Chicago and went on to expand nationally. The chain continues to follow the original mission of serving family-style Italian-American classics. The dessert menu at Maggiano's is curated, featuring quintessential restaurant favorites like tiramisu, New York-style cheesecake, and the cake we really came here for. Gigi's Butter Cake is the restaurant's take on a classic butter cake featuring a light and airy sponge. With a few twists involving fresh strawberries and a flavor-packed brown sugar glaze, Maggiano's truly cranks up the flavor. Customers rave about this cake, with some even naming it the best dessert they ever had. Gigi, wherever you are, thank you. Hi, welcome to Chili's. It's hard not to love molten lava cakes. The oozing center paired with a soft crumb is a surefire recipe for success. But not all lava cakes are created equal, and Chili's has mastered the craft and created a superior version of this classic. The molten chocolate cake at Chili's is a far cry from the versions found at other chain restaurants. The dessert consists of several elements, starting with the chocolate base hiding molten chocolate in the center. The cake is topped with a scoop of vanilla ice cream, then doused in dark chocolate. The melted chocolate then quickly sets, creating a thin, crunchy layer that adds an enjoyable textural component to the dessert. A drizzle of caramel adds the finishing touch. As you cut into the cake, the melted chocolate oozes from the center and mixes with the cold ice cream. Divine. We might say Chili's played it safe with crowd pleasers like vanilla, chocolate, and caramel, but it's still a masterfully crafted dessert that deserves all the love that it gets. The full cake version of the classic strawberry shortcake isn't something you usually find on a typical chain menu. This dessert consists of a cake base covered in whipped cream or frosting and layered with fresh strawberries or strawberry jam. Longhorn Steakhouse is mainly known for its juicy steaks and other grilled favorites, but this casual restaurant chain also serves up a masterfully crafted strawberries and cream shortcake. The Longhorn Cake features a tender sponge cake layered with vanilla cream and strawberry jam, all topped with a heap of fresh strawberries and a drizzle of strawberry syrup. The cake is soft, tender, and incredibly moist. Considering that vanilla and strawberries are a natural pairing, the flavors blend perfectly. Though this is a serious dessert, it tastes light, juicy, and refreshing, making it an ideal treat following a hearty steak. The strawberries and cream shortcake has earned many fans and is often praised for its flavor and quality. One superfan described the experience as, quote, biting into a strawberry-filled cloud, and we can't be mad about that. P.F. Chang's Great Wall of Chocolate looks just as you would imagine, a massive layered cake made entirely of chocolate. This dessert features six fudgy chocolate sponge layers coated in a silky chocolate frosting, with the sides covered in semi-sweet chocolate chips. As far as chocolate cakes at chain restaurants go, this is the absolute pinnacle, a must-try for all chocolate lovers. The Great Wall of Chocolate delights with its rich texture and deep flavors, but all this chocolate energy keeps from smothering its own character. The cake is served with fresh berries and a drizzle of raspberry sauce that add a refreshing, fruity touch. The most important thing, the first thing, is the food. P.F. Chang's may have established its brand on savory Asian-inspired dishes and craft cocktails, but this dessert is a serious contender to become the restaurant's main attraction. Tragically, it is not available as a whole cake. But if it were, you'd probably win a free t-shirt and get your photo on the wall for surviving it. Black Tie Mousse Cake is one of Olive Garden's classics. This layered cake is beautifully assembled, with perfectly balanced flavor and texture. With such impressive characteristics, it easily takes the top spot on our list. Black Tie Mousse Cake starts with a fudgy chocolate base, topped with a creamy dark chocolate cheesecake layer. The feathery light custard mousse topping serves as an ideal complement to those rich chocolate flavors. A thin coating of chocolate ganache and chocolate chips offer the finishing touch on our favorite cake. What else do you want? Nothing. 
Without all the jaw-dropping layers and trendy themes, this may be considered a bit of an old-school dessert, but it's a perfect example of how a well-crafted cake should be. The flavors are distinctive, but they play well together, and every element works in harmony to showcase the perfect bite every time. Good thing they only do never-ending soup, salad, and breadsticks, because we'd eat them out of business on a bottomless black-tie mousse cake.